So now let's work on how we can update the details of that particular employee, right? So that will be a fun task too, right? So let's see how we can do that. For updating also, we will be reusing this create employee, right? Component and let's see how we can reuse that, right? For updating. Now in here profile, let's find out where is our edit button. So we have here edit button. Now instead of just console.log, what we will do is we will navigate the user to our create employee screen. Let's do that. For that, we need to receive props from here, right? Props, we are receiving props. Now we can use this props P R O P S dot N A V I G A navigation dot N A V I navigate. And in here, we can pass what the name we gave to create screen or uh, this create, copy this and just pass it in here. Now while navigating, what we will do, we will pass, pass the data, this all the data which we have, right? So what we can do is we can copy this, right? Huh, yeah, we can copy this entire data, I think so, yeah, or we can just copy this data or we can do this, right? Okay, let's do this, control C, right? And in here where is our create screen let's write on new line right so let's use these brackets and let's put it in here right and now in second option that is basically an object right so we'll just paste it in here right so let me write that also on a new line right so this is what we have right so basically we are just passing like this id is equal to underscore id right and this name will be equal uh, colon and this will be equal to name so we can see we have key and value both equal so we can just condense this out down to just name and this id to just name and like so for every fields right okay so i think this will be uh valid right okay so now uh yeah so you can see the screen how we uh, i have wrote this right so you can just copy this how i have wrote it here right okay now let's uh, open this create employee now just open this just import the route thing or we just destructure the route from here right okay now in here we will detect uh, let's say if uh, let's say if we have a route dot params p a r a m s param if route dot param exist then just console dot log that route params uh, log that route params let's see what is logging in cons uh, this params route dot pa params let's see what we are getting right let's save this and let's open our app uh, let's go back in here let's go back right let's open our terminal right and yeah if i click in here create nothing should be get console dot log nothing is logging here and if i create on this edit i think uh, still it is not logging anything why is that a case it should log right it should log uh, why it didn't work uh, it should work let's refresh this one more time i think we need a refresh let's refresh this and why we are getting this log whole range of this object let's go to this home are we console dot logging yeah just just get rid of this console dot log it is confusing me right yeah and what i will do i will open emulator i will reload it one more time uh, I think our this is uh, basically this is the Nodemon app, right? This is, this is not our React Native side. Oh, this is our React Native side. Oh, my bad. So let's click on this create, uh, and we can see here nothing is getting logged, right? And if we click in here and click on Edit, uh, we can see now it uh, we are getting the details of that particular employee, right? Okay. Now this is amazing. Now what we can do is. Uh, where is our profile of oh, this create employee if that is the case now what we can do is we can create a separate function right let's say const uh, get 
details right and let's assign this to an arrow function now this is this get details will receive an argument of let's say type right and in here we will be using if condition right we will be detecting if this route parameter exists or not right so just cut this and just put it in here if this exists we will do something else we will simply return empty quotes like so and we can just remove this here empty quotes now what we can do is we can uh, in this use state we can just call this get details right get details yeah like so and this get details i can pass here a type right so let's see i will pass name right i am just passing inside this code a name right and now in here inside this if condition i can use switch case right i will be using switch case case and in switch i can receive this type what i am receiving in this function right and I, in the switch case i will be defining some cases let's say if the case is name right in that case we'll return return uh let's say uh, r o u r r o u t route dot p a p params dot name and let's say if the case case is let's say phone so i will return uh, r e t u return uh, r e t u r n y a r o u t e now let's copy this guy and just paste it in here i think there is some okay i forgot the colon here so like so let me pause this video and finish this for every use state and i finished routing everything right so i wrote uh, every case right uh, which we will be using right yeah so if this is the case then it will return us the picture right uh, this switch will only fire if this route parameter exists right so this will only exist if we click on that edit button right and if we click click on this plus button then this condition will never get true and we will just return this empty quotes right okay so in here we can just again call this uh, this get details and in here we can just pass the type so type will be of phone right if this type will be a phone now this phone condition will be true and it will return us the phone number right okay and let's call this again control c and control v with the now here we will write email here email and let's call this one more time control v and this will be uh, let's say uh, control v uh, here we need is to pass sla or salary the type will be salary and here the type will be picture picture and in here the type will be let's say control v and it will be of type position p o s i t i o n like so let's save this out right and let's test this uh we'll go back we'll go back if i click on this plus now here we can see all the fields are em empty now if we click in here we can click in edit now we can see all the fields are uh, pre-filled i think the position is not working let's see uh p o s i forgot s let's see test that again right so here's my emulator right so i will just again click uh here I will go to edit right and uh, still this position is empty why is that a case uh, route dot okay i forgot uh, i uh, here as well p o s i like so let's save this out and let's see if this if it worked right uh, just go back go back and let's click it here again let's click on edit again and we can see position is now prefilled everything is prefilled now here if user is editing i will not uh, show the save button instead i will show the update button right so for that we can just copy this route params control c and let's see where our save button is defined right so here it is so here what we can do is we can just use this uh, brackets and in here we can use route parameters and we can just use and double end right and in here we can pass this button 
yeah this is also we you can use ternary operator as well or you can use this this thing right here so this uh, expression is only evaluated true if the both the conditions are true this this expression will evaluate it true if the both the conditions are true and this condition is false initially right if we click on the plus button then this condition will false if we click click on the edit button then only this condition will true and this is this will be always true so this ex entire expression will be evaluated true if both the conditions are true so let's see save that and let's see uh, the button is changing or not right so if i click in here and if i add it here we should see oh let me up, update the text oh uh, i'm doing here something wrong uh, let's open our emulator uh, if i click in a plus button I, I here i see that entire save button is gone i don't want that so we cannot use this thing right uh, what instead we can use the ternary right so if route parameter exist uh, then we'll show update button right else we'll show this button right so just copy this up control c and just pa paste it down here and instead of writing save here we can just type u p d a t update let's say d e t a details right okay now in here we'll call a function with the update d e t a i details right now let's make this update details function right so let's copy that what we gave the name just copy this control c and let's create the function uh, let's say where we are uploading the data uh, in the screen yeah in the submit data below the submit data let's create it here let's const and let's give it a name of upload details just copy that just paste that what you copied and just assign that to an arrow function right now let's see how we what what how we are handling this request right so uh, our update is expecting where is our update route uh, here yeah here it is our update route is basically expecting us to pass an id and we'll update each and everything which we are receiving right so we need to pass everything right we can see we are receiving their name email we are expecting from the react uh, and side that it should pass us these all fields as well okay i got that so we can just copy this thing right here right we can just entirely copy this fetch thing right because yeah we will be copying this all the things uh, what we have because our fetch will look uh, almost uh, something like this so just copy this up and just paste it in here right and instead of the send data we will just send that request to update upd up let's see the spelling what it is update control c close this app now we don't need that just use here control v now in here we'll be uh, additionally we'll be passing id as well because uh, with the help of id only we are updating right the records so we are receiving id right we are receiving id uh, yeah it is in this route parameters let's see uh, let's go to profile and let's say yeah we are passing under underscore id right so we are receiving that underscore id inside route params dot underscore id right so let's pass that uh, so we'll be passing id and id will be coming from routes r o u routes dot p a no not routes i think props uh, or maybe route yeah let's copy this guy control c yeah so we are destructuring route from props so we know we need not to write props so we can just paste it here and instead of this name we can just here write underscore id right uh, and put a comma here like so and i think it should work and now instead of just successfully saving uh, save successfully uh, we can just uh, alert upd d-a-t-e-d update it right and we will again just navigating that user to a home and if something went wrong we can just alert that out and i think this should be the this should work right let's save that out and let's test that on our emulator let's go back here let's update hitesh position right so let's see we can if we can click on this edit right so uh we have already image uploaded right so just we all we need is to change the position so let's say we will change 
the position to let's say a and b are or android dev right yeah so let's up click on this update details so uh, something went wrong oh let's look on to the console this is the console we are receiving here null uh why is that a case and let's say what we are receiving react native side we are not receiving anything let's look on to our app.js file what our app.js is expecting app.js is expecting to pass us request.body.id and we were passing that right now why something went wrong create employee it should work definitely oh my bad we are passing this uh, we are calling this function uh, uh, let's say oh my bad we just uh, gave this id to this submit data just control x we need to give this to an update detail right yeah we need to give it in here right that is why it was not working out okay let's save this out <laughs> my bad i don't know where my mind is sometime i do this silly mistake and just end up with uh, irritating myself okay now let's click in here let's add it let's add the position of that again let's uh, write here a and d r o i d android dev right we'll work on this keyboard in next video right and click on update details hitesh is saved successfully it is showing why is that okay? oh we didn't change this text right okay if we if we reload it reload it uh, we can see now we have android dev actually what we did is we we need to just uh, here we change the text of this uh, submit data now just we can just here again write saved s u double c e double s f u l y successfully successfully and in here we can write uh, update it successfully right we here we can write update it u p d a t e d like so i think that is uh, the uh, our application is finished now the only thing which is left is to work on our keyboard right yeah so i will see you guys in the very next video